God bless you, WME family, and welcome back. We were looking at Jonah as we last left. Now, Jonah decided to disobey God. Jonah chapter 1 tells us that the, the Lord had spoken to Jonah and told him to go to the people of Nineveh and to uh, preach to them. And God had a plan. God was working something out. But we go through difficulties when we don't follow God's path. When we decide to uh, go our way. You know, uh, I'm from Dallas, and Dallas is a, a, a city that's full of traffic. I've been to many big cities, and, and uh, when you're, you decide to go, uh, you know, I, I, from time to time I've decided, well, I'm going to take this shortcut and I'm going to avoid traffic, and uh, I've uh, veered off, and I've driven, and, and instead of uh, avoiding traffic, uh, I, I get into another traffic situation, and it gets worse. And so we learn from our mistakes. We learn from, from uh, uh, our disobedience many times. And Jonah had to go through this difficulty for him to learn. He had to learn the hard way. So many times in, in, in life, and unfortunately, we decide to go that route. We decide to go the hard way. We decide to do it our way. And so uh, that was Jonah's perspective. He decided to go his route. And the Bible says that he fled. He tried to flee the presence of God. And it's amazing to me, and I mentioned this on our last program, how Jonah thought that the presence of God was uh, uh, in, a, in a location, was, was, had boundaries. But God's presence doesn't, doesn't have boundaries. I've been all over the world and I've seen God move in different places around the world. World Missionary Evangelism has, has been in, in so many countries where we've seen great moves of God, where we've seen God touch people. God isn't limited to location. God isn't limited to what we perceive as, as, uh, as uh, oh, God can only move here. I've been to, to, to prisons and, and, and preached in prisons where I've seen God move. And so uh, uh, he thought that God's presence was limited to that place. And so he decided to flee. He decided to go. He thought he could run away from God. So many of you that are watching and so many people have thought they, they could run away from God. That they could run away from his call. They could run away from his call on their life. You can't run away from God. You can't run away from the Lord. And so Jonah thought he could do that. And Jonah fled. And the Bible tells us that he was, he, he was on a boat and he was thrown from this boat. And a, and a fish, a giant fish swallowed him. And uh, for three days and for three nights, he was inside that fish. Can you imagine the hell he was going through? Can you imagine the, the, uh, how dark and how gloomy his situation was? I have to believe that Jonah, uh, while he was in that well, probably thought he was going to die. He thought it was over. But for three days and three nights, he, couldn't, uh, he, he didn't die. And so uh, he's in there in this fish, and it's extremely hot inside the darkness. And, and the, the acid inside of that animal, can you imagine that? It's burning uh, Jonah. And here Jonah is inside the belly of this fish. You know, many years ago, I, I remember I was uh, in, a, in a foreign country, and, and uh, it was very hot. And uh, they, I was staying at a home of... of of this family and they didn't have air condition over there. They didn't even have a fan. And I remember I stood in that, that home and it was so hot and humid. I couldn't sleep the entire night. And so the second night I told them, you know, I, I really love you guys and you guys are a blessing, but can we look for a hotel? Because if, uh, uh, and I'll pay for the hotel, but I just can't stay here in this heat because uh, I couldn't rest or sleep at all. Well, they said, there's, a, there's no hotels in this town. There's only hostels, and those hostels don't have uh, um, air condition. So I would have been in the same situation. 
and, and I had to end up staying in this uh, uh, place for several days, and I really couldn't sleep because of the heat. So can you imagine what Jonah is going through? Because he decided to go the hard way. Because he decided to go his route. And he thought that uh, he knew more than God. That uh, he was right in his own thinking. And here he is. And what amazes me is it took Jonah three days and three nights before he decided to pray before he decided to call upon God. You know, uh, a couple of months ago, I was uh, really sick. I had eaten something, and, and uh, I just didn't feel good. And, and uh, I remember it was a Sunday I went to church, and I, I spoke, but I, I had that, that, that n n I felt nauseated, and I didn't feel good. And it, it, I was... Uh, we have a Sunday night service. I came back for the Sunday night service, but I still didn't feel good. It wasn't until later that night that I got home and it, I just threw up, threw up everything I had eaten. And after I had thrown up, uh, I was able to rest and I was able to feel better because I had gotten rid of a lot of those, uh, whatever I had eaten that made me sick, a lot of those toxins I had uh, gotten rid of them. And so, so many times we hold on to things. So many times we hold on to things that aren't a blessing to our life. We hold on to unforgiveness. We hold on to uh, depression. And here Jonah was holding on to these things. And it took him three days and three nights for him to pray and for him to call upon the Lord. And the Bible says when my soul fainted within me. This is Jonah. I remembered the Lord. And my prayer came un unto him and unto thine holy temple. And the Bible says in verse 10 of Jonah chapter 2, And the Lord spake unto the fish, and it vomited out Jonah unto the dry land. It wasn't until he surrendered to God's will. It wasn't until he said, I'm going to do things God's way that God changed his circumstance. Father, we just pray for our WME family that you would bless them and that you would be with them today, Lord. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. World missionary evangelism began when John E. Douglas Sr. accepted the challenge of caring for six orphaned children in India. From this act of love spring a work that has grown to include children's homes, schools, leper clinics, vocational and agricultural education, disaster relief, feeding programs, drilling water wells, and building churches. And at the heart of all of WME's work has been living out the Great Commission to take the news of salvation through Jesus to everyone we meet. The World Missionary Evangelism's work has grown from the initial effort to save six children in India to establishing mission projects across the globe. Our address is WME, Post Office Box 660800, that's 660800, Dallas, Texas 75266.